All right, introduce yourself. How you doing? I'm Christopher Troy, AKA Super Troy from New Styles Crew. And go ahead and tell us about yourself. Uh, I was born in California, Inland Empire, IE, but I've grown up all over California from Chino Hills to Tustin, uh, Orange County area, Huntington Beach, and uh, now I'm over in Hollywood, where I belong. And what do you do for a living? Basically, I'm an actor, a dancer, entertainer, because I also do stunts, parkour, tricking. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like uh, parkour is street running, like the Jackie Chan stuff, up buildings, and uh, tricking is martial arts, uh, flips like combinations. They kind of go hand in hand because I also break dance and dance, so uh, all that touches base. And I really enjoy it as a, an entertainer. It really opens up a lot of fields for me. But what I do for a living is entertain, acting, dancing, stunts, parkour, tricking. All of them kind of uh, float together and I love to do it. Anything for a crowd or pleasing a group. It's, uh, I don't know, I've just done it since I was a kid. I've always liked to be kind of the center of attention, but in a positive way. Like, I know that there's, there's a lot of people that just do it, that just do it, but I like to, to put a smile on people's face. It's just a lot of fun for me. For me to be able to find a job in which I can get paid for doing something that I would do anyways is remarkable, and I think that everyone should kind of find their niche like that. Okay, how long have you been acting and dancing for? Okay, well, acting, I have been acting f since I was about 16. I got involved with it just randomly. I've always been kind of wanting to do that entertainment thing, but didn't really know that it was a, it was a plausible idea, like it was something that I could actually touch and, and feel. As for dancing, I started dancing about the age of 18 because of my brother and a place called The Branding Iron. When I turned 18, I got to see him in his field over at The, the Branding Iron where he's like the most popular person, or he was the most popular person there. And uh, that inspired me. I saw that and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be that guy. And so I, uh, I learned from him along with a couple others. And I've been learning ever since. I don't think I'll stop. What is some work you have done? I did Coke Specs. Um, I'm currently sponsored with my dance crew, New Styles Crew. We're sponsored by Reebok. So that's a lot of fun. It's, it's kind of crazy because they just send us like brand new clothes and brand new shoes like once a month. And we just have to wear them and be seen out in public and on sets with Reebok stuff. And I think that's great. <laughs> For other terms of work, I actually work very closely with a production line called Wayside, and they have their own YouTube uh, page, that they're paid by YouTube, and they're, uh, they do backyard effects, if you guys have ever heard of that, it's a really cool kind of uh, thing where they teach you how to build things like that. <clears throat> One of them was an Iron Man fist, like you can build an Iron Man fist, they teach you. So they did a recent film called Medicine, in which I did all the stunts for. And uh, that was a lot of fun because it gives me a lot of creative grounds. I do stunts anyways, but stunt choreography is something that I, I'm getting more into, so I actually get to plan everything out, and that's that's really great. I recently have done a Dance Dance Revolution. This is the second time I've worked with DDR and Konami as uh, their commercials and their, their like front page. Like I did, I was on the cover of the game a couple years back, and they brought me back for another commercial, and that was. That was a lot of fun because I had to play like multiple different um, ages. Like I was progressively getting older and it was really awesome. I love the guys over at Konami. As far as music videos, I am fortunate enough to know a lot of people around here, you know, just living in the area. And some of my close friends are very good musicians that used to tour over on the East Coast and now they are building something over here on the West Coast. Uh, Hollyfield or Cody Hahn. We've done a couple of things. Uh, the first music video I did was called The Getaway by Hollyfield. It was great because I got to partake as like the lead in it, along with my ex fiance and that was uh, that was interesting because if you watch the video it's just kinda it ends up how real life is and it's kind of funny in a weird way. But yeah. 
Also, I did a commercial recently for Wayside as well. Great people. They uh, they let me be a superhero. And the funny thing about that is that that is where I started getting nicknamed Super Troy. Not only because for my dancing I do a lot of uh, hair raising, like acrobatic things, but also because I starred in this commercial for Trend Micro Identity in which I was a superhero called Titan. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've never been able to, I didn't think I was ever going to be a superhero, but I am now. <laughs> and uh, I think I can cross that off my bucket list if that's possible to be on the bucket list. You know? <laughs> Um, if you had a choice, would you do acting or dancing? I get this question a lot, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say that you need to be a master of one and not a jack of all trades. That'll get you further in your career. And I agree to a lot of, to that extent, but, um, I just didn't choose that route. I've got too much that I want to show, you know, um, but... I've always gone by the same kind of cliche that I made up for myself, and that's I dance for the body, and that's what kind of keeps me in shape and healthy, and I act for the soul. And what that means is that uh, I think with the society the way it is, humans in general have this thick armor that they've built up to like protect themselves from becoming harmed emotionally in uh, the real world and with acting I'm allowed to tear that armor down and be real and uh, maybe touch on some of the emotions that I've that I'm not allowed to touch on in society that would make me look weak or make me look crazy and uh, yeah I think that, that definitely acting if I had to choose between the two I know my body's not gonna survive past 35, I don't think, with the, uh, the kind of dancing that I do, is, it's pretty aggressive, but acting definitely for the soul, for the mind, for everything, it's my art, it allows me to release and to be sane, I guess, you know, to, to balance me out, so definitely acting. And what is your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal would have to be a koala bear because they rock and uh, they're not really bears but they look like bears and I want one in my house now. <laughs> okay.